Well, hello YouTube. This is Jim, and welcome back to Jim's Mix. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to be covering something that's all over YouTube and everywhere else, and that's cleaning your rifle. Now, anytime you're messing with a gun, be sure you're practicing safe handling of it. This one is unloaded. Uh, the bolt is out of it. And we'll be looking at two rifles tonight, a uh, 1022 uh, and a, this is my Weatherby 307 and 280 Ackley approved. Uh, a lot of stuff's going around. Let's talk about some basics. Number one, you're handling chemicals. Handle them safe. Safety of my shop is my concern. Safety of yours should be your concern. Follow the instructions. Follow the manuals. Follow, follow the safety things. Gotta say all this stuff. Number two, a lot of people on YouTube, you can get a lot of different uh, takes on it, opinions on it. Do you clean your rifle? How do you clean your rifle? How do you clean it? Do you clean it? Don't you clean it? Yes, you clean it. It's like anything else. You're putting high pressure gases, dirty carbon, and all kinds of stuff down this barrel. If you want to protect your investment, if you want the best service you can get out of it, it's just like changing oil in your car, rotating your tires, maintain it. It'll give you years of service. It'll keep its accuracy longer. Barrel life will be longer. And another thing that you hear so much of that absolutely drives me crazy. The average hardness on a molychrome or a stainless steel barrel is anywhere from 58 to 62 Rockwell. A bronze brush will not damage your rifle barrel. It will not. Now if you put it in sideways, you use a bad cleaning rod, you use it with an abrasive on it, things like that, folks, it is not going to damage your rifle barrel. Throw that away. Watch Midway's things, Brownells, Miff Busters, and things like that. A bronze brush is not going to hurt your barrel. As a matter of fact, it'll get stuff out that the nylon brushes, like I'm going to use tonight, will not get out. Now, if you're going to clean it, how are you going to clean it? Number one, spend the money on a good cleaning rod. I prefer the Tipton carbon fibers. They've got a nice smooth bearing so that it'll follow the rifling. Get you some good jags. Uh, again, I use the Tiptons and I do not get the bronze jags. Uh, this is their uh, Tiptons. Uh, it's a nickel chrome plated so that you don't get a false positive when you're cleaning your barrel so you'll know that it isn't the barrel that's giving you it'll you'll know it is the barrel giving you the blue color indicating there is still copper inside uh, I do use uh, for tonight and the purpose of what we're doing I bought two new uh, brand new uh, synthetic if you will uh, brushes that we'll be using and uh, I've been cleaning rifles for over 55 years and I've used all kinds of stuff I've shot competitively if you watch my introduction you know all that stuff I have used the great old Kroll's oil uh, along with the JB and it works it works really well a lot of work I've used uh, <coughs> Butch's Borshine this stuff smells so bad, you better be outside using it. It's really nasty smelling. I've used Sweet 762. If you've uh, shot any uh, military rifles and stuff, you know about this one, Sweet 762. It smells really bad. I've got used Montana's Boar Shine. Uh, it's uh, Boar Solvent, Tetras, uh, the good old Hops Number 9, just the old standard. Love the smell of this stuff, by the way. And then I've used our copper remover, uh, which you'll notice that uh, it's in a plastic bottle, and I'm really glad at this point. Uh, but you'll notice a difference in the colors of the label. Now, I want to give you one other little piece. Oh, and I've used a great old ballastol. Man, this is good stuff all the way around. If you're a black powder shooter or a black powder cartridge shooter, you need this stuff in your arsenal. You can mix it with water to clean and clean your gun, just look up some stuff on that, maybe one day. Now, I've got this stuff, and I'm just going to have to be honest with you. This is called Shooter's Lube. 
And this is their solvent. Uh, folks, this isn't worth two dimes to a beggar on the street needing a dollar. This is just nothing to this. Uh, lubricants, uh, I'm going to tell you now, one of the best ones I've ever used is this Miltech. Uh, it is really a good lubricant. When it comes to a lubricant, don't ever use a lubricant that has to be shook up and then separates when it sits. Stuff like frog lube and gun butter and those things, if it's going to separate in that bottle, it's going to separate on your weapon, so you're going to lose the effectiveness of it. And a product that isn't in the gun industry that I really like to use is a dry lube, and this one is for bicycle chains. Uh, and uh, my grandson works at a bike shop, and so this thing has got a Teflon in it. Man, this is the stuff for the inside of your bolts and bolt springs and stuff like that. Let it dry. It doesn't collect dirt, dust, and all that mess. But this is good stuff, a, a good bike lube, dry lube. Uh, you do have to shake it up good. But of all the cleaners that I have used, I have come to, and I'm, this is not sponsored, the products by Bortec are by far the best products I've ever used, especially their copper remover. You'll see it in just a little bit. Their uh, eliminator, their bore eliminator, this is the general cleaner, kind of clean off everything. It actually does a really good job with uh, just general cleaning of your, of your rifle bore. Uh, we'll see that in just a minute. They've also got one out that is for a rim fire. I've got our little 1022 with a Shaw uh, match grade barrel on it. We're going to try that on it. Uh, I'm not going to try to make this video too long, so I'm going to kind of go fast. But this is their Rimfire Blend. This is their Eliminator just talked about. And then this is their Carbon Remover. And if you get the little donut at the end of your chamber where the, uh, where the case is ends and got that little gap, you know, 15, 20,000, and that little carbon ring builds up, this stuff really does a good job of getting it out. Uh, and maybe we'll do a video sometime on how to get rid of that and bore scope it and stuff like that. Now this rifle has been shot some. Uh, finished up hunting season here in Wyoming, so we're done with that. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is I'm going to actually take the Hops Copper Cleaner and I'm going to start with it. And I'm going to let Nick zoom in on the end of the barrel. And like I said, this has been shot. Uh, and, you know, like I said, the end of hunting season has uh, kind of come and went. So uh, it's time to clean it up and get it ready uh, to hang out until I decide to go. Uh, still working with loads on it and, and stuff, but uh, it shoots really well. And so when you're cleaning your rifle, especially the centerfire rifle, please use a bore guide. I know Nick can't see this. Uh, he may can get over here where he can see it. Uh, get you a good gun vise, uh, you know, spend some money on it. Uh, this one I've had for years, it served me well. But use a good, a good bore uh, guide because you don't need all that mess getting down in your action. You don't need your brush and jag and stuff, you know, battering up the inside of your chamber. Try to get your rifle barrel down, heel just a little bit so whatever solvent is in there will go out the end of the barrel. Now, uh, Nick's kind of moved up to where he can get a little better zoom, but I want to tell you, uh, if you're looking for a gun vise, this ain't it. <laughs> I just have to be honest with you, the connections are very flimsy, don't hold well, uh, it's just, just save your money, get you something better. This is uh, Tipton's best gun vise. They make good stuff, like you heard me talking about, but what this isn't one of them. Nice little AR stand that is pretty handy, but just uh, just get you a little better. Don't spend the money on this. Uh, I don't know if their uh, newest, biggest, best one is better than this, but I've almost quit using this. It's uh, just uh, not a very good gun vice. I would tell you what this one is, but to be honest, I don't remember, and I can't see a name on it anywhere. Uh, and if I find that out later, I'll put something in the comments. 
So let's take off. Let's get a little hops number nine. And like I said, this rifle has been shot. We're going to soak this patch just like they tell us to do. I'm going to put it on the end of our jag. I'm going to spear it in here. Man, I got this thing wet, wet, wet. Keep you some rags uh, handy. You'll need them. Uh, paper towels or rags. I, I like rags better than paper towels. So, so we're just going to push this soaked patch through the bore. Real easy. Real nice and slow. Get that barrel soaked. Ah, I see some blue on there. So we must be attacking the copper in that barrel. Well, let's leave that there for just a minute. Let's uh, switch over and get us a, um, a nylon brush for just a minute. And let's just really get in here. We're going to dip that right in our hops. And then we're going to push it through the bore a few times. And uh, nice tight fitting brush. We'll give it a few strokes through that. Clean off our cleaning rod, always kind of keep your work clean. Take your rag and try to get that off of your brush, soak it off your brush. Oh boy, it's getting some dirt out of there, Nick. It's, uh, so we're going to put our jag back on. Now, I'm not going through all of the stuff that I would typically do. We're just going to talk about the bore cleaners uh, tonight. I will say that the uh, Bortec has a, uh, a little bit of an oil base left in it and gives you some protection for a short term. So now let's see what we get. Oh boy, look at that. We got a little copper on there. We're looking pretty good. Getting some carbon and some copper on there. Let's put another clean patch through there. I don't always use them, but when I can find the right size round patches, uh, I prefer round patches going through round holes. It seems to work a lot better. Uh, so let's run a clean dry patch through now. Well, it looks like we don't have any more copper coming off. Looks like we just got a little carbon coming out of there. Let's do one more dry patch and be sure that's all out of there. We'll apologize for any video shaking going on. Nick's having to move the tripod around so he can uh, get in here to see what's going on. So just bear with him. We, uh, we're not professional YouTubers. We're just a couple country boys out here in the shop trying to share a little bit with you. So there we go. We're down to just uh, a little bit of dirt. So a lot of people would say, well, that's almost clean. Yeah, almost. Now, we're going to see if this other Bortec, and folks, I haven't rehearsed this. I just come out here and set the rifle down uh, and got everything ready to do the video. So now let's uh, have a look here. And we're just going to use uh, some of the Eliminator, the Bortec Eliminator. We're going to put a little on the patch. Oh, this stuff does not stink, this stuff does not burn, is not caustic, and is environmentally friendly. So let's put a patch through. Uh-oh. Let's see, Nick, what we got here. Well, it looks like there was a little bit more in there than we were getting before. So now that we put a wet patch through there, trying to stay in the same time frames, let's go ahead and get a jag. And since we've got this nice little applicator on here, we'll slide it in. We'll put a little in the little slot here. Let's work this through a few times. Clean that up. 
try and go fast because I know people's attention spans aren't very long and uh, we don't uh, don't want you to go to sleep and stop watching. We want you to keep watching. Nick's trying to work on our lighting a little bit. I think we've got some glares going on in here. I got a cup of coffee sitting there. I'm a coffeeholic, by the way. My name's Jim. I love coffee. So why don't we just put a dry patch through there and see what we got? Uh oh. It looks like we got a lot more stuff. And I believe I see some blue on that patch. So, let's run another dry patch through there and see what we got. Lost my cleaning rod for a minute. Still getting a little more out of there. Got a little bit uh, blue on it. So now we've got uh, uh, maybe a decently clean barrel. But why don't we see just how much we've got of it? This is the copper cutter, and you know. I don't believe I have an open bottle of that here, so we're going to have to open one. I thought I did have it. I do. just going to put a little on here and again this stuff doesn't have any odor it's clear man by now you'd already have a sweet headache uh, or a big fan going or something else now it says to run oh look at that can you imagine we just run our wet pass through and look what we found they must still be copper in that barrel. The instructions say run four or five wet patches through. So we're going to give it a little chance. We're going to run two through there. Then we're going to brush it and see what we get. Well, we're still getting uh, a, a good little bit of copper. Now, I can already tell you from years of experience, I'm like the real gunsmith. Uh, so I've, I've done this a long time. I've done it many times. And I can already tell you Okay, there'll be a transition right there, folks, but really didn't miss anything except me putting a little more uh, <coughs> copper solvent on the patch. This is three of them. You'll notice that it's starting to break down the carbon now, not just the dirt, <coughs> and we're getting the uh, telltale sign of copper in the barrel. Let's uh, give it a few brushes with the nylon brush and we may have to make two videos on this Nick this is getting a little long I'll try to edit some of it out later but uh, let's see if we can uh, run this in here a couple times now if you use a product that you think is better uh, than the Vortec products, uh, please leave it in the comments below uh, so that we can uh, share it with the other community. i got a little channel, don't have a lot of viewers, but uh, hopefully that will change over a little bit of time. So get that all cleaned up. Get 
get our brush cleaned up. And now let's see what we've got. And again, this isn't sponsored. And uh, to be honest, uh, the place that I have ordered this stuff, uh, man, I sound like a Midway commercial. Uh, but Midway uh, is has been the uh, usually has it in stock and uh, at a reasonable price. So. Midway USA. Larry Potterfield. <laughs> Love his little commercials. Yeah, we're uh, we're getting more carbon, more blue, more copper. So I think the whole point of this video is if you want to do some copper removal on your rifle barrel with a safe product, environmentally safe, uh, health-wise safe, and a product that does what it says it'll do, then I would certainly recommend Bortec and all of their products uh, that I have seen. It isn't just advertising hype. They work as intended and as advertised. So if you have comments, questions, like, subscribe, join us here on Jim's Mix. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, I'm going to be building a rifle. I haven't done one of those in 30 years. I'm going to be building it on a Remington 700 Action, and I'm going to log it and blog it and video it all the way through from the base rifle that I'm using. I'm using a McGowan custom barrel. It's going to be a Remington style barrel with barrel nut. Uh, it's going to be in a 25 alt 6 Ackley Improved. I'm going to walk you through the whole process. I'm going to let you see how you order the barrel on McGowan's website. Uh, it's what it'll cost you, depending on what you want, how fancy you want to get it, uh, or how bare bones you want to get it, whatever basically that you need. So I'm going to end this video here. It's got a little long. God bless you. Be safe and enjoy the rest of your week. And Christmas is coming up. Be sure to tell them you want a new gun. Thank you.